In this secondary school classroom in Bamako, Mali's capital, learning is taking place in a familiar language. For the first time, children are reading stories written in their mother tongue. Bambara is spoken or understood by an estimated 70 to 80 percent of Malians. Yet, in most schools, it's not the dominant language of instruction. French is. Such a situation can be quite confusing and impacts learning from an early age. In reality, it is easier to learn in one's native language than in a foreign language. When we teach children in Bambara, they encounter the vocabulary and concepts they are already familiar with at home and in their surroundings. Therefore, when something is explained to them in their own language, they understand it much more easily. In contrast, teaching in another language requires additional techniques to convey meaning, making learning more difficult due to the language barrier. Kulibali is a school teacher and researcher at Robot Mali. His organization is looking to address this problem through modern technology. Using artificial intelligence, they cannot only produce illustrated storybooks in Bambara language, but also include cultural aspects the children are familiar with. Bambara isn't the first African language to expand into local schools like this, but it took a major effort for multiple parties to get it done. When, when we started, there really was not an LLM which, which was capable of um, interacting in Bambara, right? So we were forced to uh, use French as the seed language and to develop text and stories and images, all those, all those things that would go into the final product in Bambara in a Malian context but to do um, trans passing through translation using AI-based translation transformers that uh, were starting to get good, which were more advanced at the time than, than LLMs, and, um, and to do a lot of human, human correction and adaptation. Today, the situation is a lot different. There are a lot of large language models that have a basic ability in, in Bambara uh, anthropic uh, models have been quite good, and now uh, Gemini, and also GPT-5 uh, also has some pretty good capabilities. That human review is especially critical in education, where accuracy directly affects learning outcomes. Experts say teaching children in their mother tongue helps build stronger literacy skills and improves long-term academic performance. In 1978 to 79, the state decided to launch an experiment in the Malian language. As a result of this experiment, it turned out that children who learn in their language learn better, they learn faster and more efficiently than in a foreign language. Secondly, children who learn in their language are not disoriented at some point because they will not have to learn a language that they don't master fast. They learn in a language that they master at home. They come with an intellectual background, which we linguistics call a basic lexical stock in a fast language. As Mali continues to face challenges in its education system, this experiment with artificial intelligence is offering a new path, one rooted in local language, culture, and inclusion. Well, I'm we teach robotics using robots like this as well as artificial intelligence, which are part of new and emerging technologies. We also offer training in other subjects, including English. According to Robot Mali, the digital content is currently provided free to participating schools. For many educators, it represents more than technology. It is a return to learning that begins with understanding. Mamadou Tapili, CGTN, Bamako.